Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word, and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz Wall from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one is a quick hit, straight to the point. Uh, this lesson will be entitled, Apostle Paul Went to the Gentiles, Israelite Foreigners. All right. Apostle Paul went to the Israelite foreigners, Israelites who were scattered. OK, that took upon the customs and the ways of the heathen. All right. You had Israelites that were Hellenized, that took on Greek customs. They took on their fashion. They took on their diet. OK, they took upon their attire. And they thought that they were. Greeks, okay, or whatever land they were in, they thought they were of those people, but in fact, they were Israelites, all right, now I'm going to got two scriptures, I want to make it straight to the point, you know, this is not too hard to understand, it's simple, all right, and these two scriptures should explain that, this is uh, Romans 11 and 13, for I speak to the Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. And I believe that's Acts 9 and 15, if I'm not mistaken, where it says Paul was the light to the Gentiles, which is the light to the Israelite foreigners. All right. He was the what enlightened them to wake up and come back to the fold, those that were of the hopeful elect. OK. So it says and those, basically those that believed in Yahweh Shai. So verse 14, if by any means I may provoke to immolation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. For if the for if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? For if the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches OK, so Apostle Paul is comparing the Israelites to a holy, a holy tree. OK, now, if I have this highlighter, all right, and this highlighter I, I created to be what? Holy. And I take this highlighter and I break it apart because of for some reason, you know, that reason is I don't like it or it went off. Let's say according to scripture, it went off. And this top is part of the part of the root. So if that fall away, this is still holy. OK, but guess what? If I go and recover the top and I put the top back on, it is a part of the root. It was never this truth was never given to any other nation to be grafted in. All right. Uh, Isaiah 46 and three, it says, uh. You have to be born in the belly and carry from the womb. OK, so this is a bloodline. All right. The most high have you. This is a nationality. The Lord have to create have to, uh, you know, make you an Israelite from the seed of your father. This is this is this this uh, word of the Lord. OK, the law, statutes and commandments were not given to all nations, neither to neither in this day. All right. And if you believe in that, that's because of the false teachings of Christianity coming from these government churches going back to Esau. OK, so um, it says for the first fruit be holy. The lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, like I said, some of the branches be broken off. And I'm just examining with this highlighter. All right. Which is the top. It says, and thou being a wild olive tree, all right, now this being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them and with them part and with them partakers of the root and the fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee, because this is still part of the Lord. OK, this is still a part of the highlighter in this example. All right. So why would the root boast against the branches that fell off, showing you that it was all one body? 
until we were scattered. Okay. It says, um, thou will say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Okay. So now with the top that can come off the highlighter boasts against the root because now the highlighter can come back into the fold. It says, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. All right? So you have the Israelite foreigners, they can't boast against the, uh, the root. Okay? And the root can't boast against the branches that fell away. It says, thou will say, then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, because, the, um, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and thou standest. Uh, by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. For if the Most High spared not the natural branches, take heed lest least he also spared not thee. Excuse me. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of the Most High, it says, on them which fell severity, but toward thee goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, Otherwise, thou also shall be cut off. And they also, and the reason why we were cut off is because of our wickedness. Okay. It says, and they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For the Most High is able to graft them in again. Why would it say again? Because they was already a part of the original root, lump, tree. OK, this top was already a part of the highlighter. So, yes, it could be grafted back in. So this just proves that, you know, the Israelite, the uh, Gentiles that Paul went to were Israelite foreigners, man. It's simple. All right. Uh, let's read 24. For if thou were cut off of the olive tree, which is wild by nature and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree, you know? <laughs> so it's like if you have this top, which is a part of the highlighter, would this grow up and just be his own olive tree? So now we got two uh, uh, holy people that the Lord really only chosen one, okay? It says, for I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. And yes, uh, it being an Israelite foreigner, okay, uh, is a mystery to those but to us of the knowing all right of the whole four elect it's not a mystery so paul is telling us that ye should not be ignorant of this mystery least ye should be wise in your own conscience that blindness in part is happened to israel until the fulfillment of the gentiles be come in which are the israelite foreigners so it's blindness going on and you got this vo vocab malone you know keep you know, beating at uh, the net, you know, swiping at the net with this truth. All right. You have Israelite foreigners. That's who Paul went to. Israelites who took on the customs and ways of the heathens. All right. That didn't call themselves Israelites. It's the same thing as goes on today. Now, verse 26, it says, and, and so all Israel shall be saved because through the elect that's waking up today, all Israel will be saved. Okay. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion a deliverer, which is Shai, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. See, and this covenant always been unto Jacob, never unto no other no uh, heathens and other nations, man. This is simple as it can get. All right. And understanding, you know, it says as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. But as touching the election, they are beloved of the Father's sake. You see? So it's all about the elect. The elect. The elect. The elect. Verse 29. For the gifts and calling of the Most High are without repentance. Right. So that's basically the point I wanted to grab there. Right? So let me get this real quick. Isaiah 5 and 1. It says, Now will I sing to my well-beloved the song of my beloved touching his vineyard? My well-beloved have a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered out of the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine. 
and built the tower in the midst of it, and also made the winepress therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. All right. Now this is a, a you know, a metaphor and speakings of Israel. Okay, the vineyard is Israel, which is going to tell you. So it says we just read, you know, some similarity what Paul was speaking of. All right, here in Isaiah the fifth chapter. So, you know, it's the same thing, okay? It says, verse 3, And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought forth wild grapes. Now And now go to, and I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard, I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned nor digged, but there shall come up brivers and thorns. It says, I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. You see? For the vineyard of the Lord Yahweh of hosts is the house of Israel and the men of Judah, his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a cry. All right. So, like I said, this is a quick hit straight to the point. Uh, you know, I wanted to touch on this uh, topic with the uh, Gentiles. All right. The Gentiles were Israelite foreigners. All right, who Paul went to. He never went to no Edomites. And yes, Cornelius is an Israelite of the Italian band. There were Israelites in Italy. Okay? So, you know, because, you know, you got two thirds and you got scoffers who keep beating at a net, swiping at a net, man, with this truth. And it's plain as day. Okay? That the Israelites, the Israelites is who Paul went to. Israelite foreigners. To be more precise, Israelite foreigners, Israelites who who took on the customs and the ways of the heathen. All right. That spoke Greek. All right. But they didn't keep the customs and ways of being a Hebrew. So when they learned of Yahweh Shai and believed in Yahweh Shai, you know, they came back into the fold. And eventually they were going to, you know, keep the law. All right. To the best of their ability. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.